Good morning. So over the weekend, a pretty significant hit to the Omen franchise. And I was just thinking about this a couple, not too long ago, about, okay, who's going to be the next major name from the Omen franchise to pass away? And the obvious bet at this point would be Lee Grant, who I believe is 96. Lee Grant played Dan Thorne from Damian Omen 2. You also have Lance Hendrickson, who played Sergeant Neff from Omen 2. He's in his 80s now. Robert Foxworth, who played Paul from also Omen 2, is also in his 80s. As far as major characters you'd have to dig a little further especially if you do omen uh, if you look at the original omen you have to go a little deeper into the cast list i know that holly palance who played the first nanny who hung herself at damien's birthday party is in her 70s early 70s now she's the daughter of actor jack palance jack and so those would be kind of your main bets and around at this point in around night uh, 2019 or 2020 we lost lewis mahoney who was played the black monk from omen 3 so that was a recent one and then in 2022 we lost the great david warner who was the photographer who goes on the trek with gregory uh, gregory peck in the original omen david warner a great english actor on April the 7th, on Saturday, we lost Michael Lerner. Now, Lerner was in movies like Eight Men Out, and he was an elf. I believe he was in National Lampoon's Class Reunion, and he played a mob, a crime boss in the movie Harlem Nights. What's up, Jordo? And I was always surprised that he was not in more he didn't have more roles like that surprising that he wasn't as big as a cast that goodfellas and like the godfather movies were that michael lerner was not at least a minor supporting character in one of those films because he was new york born he had the physical presence he was a very large guy surprised he lived as long as he did with how big he was and he, he had the face where he of that character where he could have slid in naturally to be in one of those mob, you know, uh, uh, mafia type movies. So I'm kind of surprised he didn't get more roles like that. But he played Detective Earl Grant in Omen 4, The Awakening. Probably the best performance and most believable performance through throughout this movie was Faye Grant no relation to Lee Grant the lead actress in the film who she really helped bind the movie together that had a lot of problems and she's throughout the whole thing she really kind of helps hold it together but about halfway through is where we first see Michael Lerner's character and this is a little, not too long after the psychic fair sequence where the film is really limping along and <laughs> at this point, but when, when Faye Grant goes to see Michael Lerner to investigate about what's going on with the, all the suspicious deaths and trying to figure out what's going on with Delia, her daughter, her adopted daughter, that is when... The, the movie really, he really gives it a, a boost. So he really helps. Michael Lerner's character really does help pick this movie up somewhat and move it along from him, from the encounter in his office with her to his, going to North Carolina to look for, to investigate about one of the... Uh, one of the nuns from that helped give Delia to the family. Uh, Felicity is her name now. 
but she, he goes down there and the bar scene the sequence with the the, the conversation with the uh, with the bartender is great going into the little Asian market uh, going to the Pentecost or talking to the the pimp of Felicity her former pimp and then getting some info from her I mean from him and then going to the Pentecostal church there is a great sequence where he gets bit by the snake and she gets bit by the snake the little hospital there where she dies and he gets something out of her some information then he goes to her trailer park to dig up and finds a lot of information about Damien and an and Delia and then sends it mails it to Faye Grant before he is reaches an untimely death by the wrecking ball so he it's probably the best sequences in Omen 4 belong to Michael Lerner so rest in peace Michael Lerner the probably the the most known actor from Omen 4 this is a, uh, <laughs> this film is obviously the weakest of the, of the four, but it's one that, uh, I guess I have a, it's, I guess if there's a cult following of it, I definitely, I'm in that cult, so, it's definitely an enjoyable film. Uh, Dewey, you know what I'm talking about, sexy fire, so. Next year, when going through, when watching The Omen 4, it's going to be emotional, kind of like it was this year, watching The Omen 1976 and seeing David Warner, you know, after for the first time after we lost him. So, you know, we'll see. So, uh, a great, uh, great career and a long life for Michael Lerner. Rest in peace. And we'll see who's going to be the next one to go. Probably not anyone from the remake 2006, but... Who knows? At this point, I think Lee Grant will probably outlive them all. Long live the Omen. Long live Michael Lerner.